let's take a break from working on the drink section and look at how we can address the about pages. So when I first walked through Crafty Coffee at the beginning of the course, I talked about the about Crafty Coffee section. And then I also talked about the different types of sections in Craft. And one of them is the structure section. And that section allows us to have related content entries, but organize them in some sort of hierarchy. So for the about section of Crafty Coffee, I want to be able to have an about page, but then also have some sub pages to that about page and have the structure of the URL reflect that. And that way, when I go to Crafty Coffee, I can go to slash about and then maybe slash about locations and then maybe slash about locations, Austin, Texas, something like that. To do that, I want to have a structure in place. So I'm going to go to my settings and go to sections. And we're going to create a new section and we'll call it about Crafty Coffee. For the section type, we'll choose structure. This is the third and last section in Craft and we haven't created one of these yet. And then for the settings for the Crafty Coffee site, for the entry URI format, we can adjust this. Now by default, it's going to take the name and hyphenate it. It's a little bit too long for me. I just want about and then slash slug. For the template, we'll do about slash underscore entry. I don't really care about how many max levels we can do. You can go as many levels down if you want. And then for the preview target, the URL is just fine. So let's go ahead and save this and then create some to see how it works. Before we do that, I want to create this template so I don't forget. So here in my code editor, under templates, I'm going to create a new directory called about, and then a new template called underscore entry dot twig. And I'll just put in some placeholder here. Actually, we can just do title. I'll show you that in a second. And now I can preview this in the browser just to make sure I'm seeing the right thing. So let's save this. Now we have about crafty coffee. It's a structure. If I go to entries, you can see under structures, I have about crafty coffee, but no pages. So let's create our first one. We'll call this one about, and here I can define the slug, but also choose a parent. I don't have anything yet, so there won't be any parents. This is the parent, so I can save that. Okay, there it is. Now I'm going to create another one and we'll call this locations. And for the parent, I can choose about, so it'll nest it under there and save that. Now you can see we have the nesting and the same way I can create another entry, call this Austin, Texas. The parent of this is locations, save that. And now we have this hierarchy here. I could create more locations under it. I could create other sub pages under about as well. Let's just say I wanted to do mission statement. And that's the child of about. We save that. And there we go. So we're kind of creating a hierarchy of pages. Now, if I hover over the globe to the far right here where it says visit web page, I can click on that and it's going to open it at about then slash mission statement. And the same thing if I click on the others. Now it's showing blank and I realized in my template, it should be entry.title. Now if I reload, now you can see it says mission statement. So I know that this is working as it should. You don't have to worry about this entry title thing right now. We're gonna learn about how this all works in the templates. So that works. And I can also look at locations. So about locations and then Austin dash Texas. Looks like it didn't find that one. Let me see what the, that should work. Let's get a preview. There it is. About locations, Austin, Texas. Let's see if I just do about Austin, Texas. Ah, that worked. All right. So we need to tweak our settings a little bit. To do that, we're going to go back into settings, then into our section. 
So instead of specifying about and just statically defining it here, I want to make this dynamic. And I do that with curly brace parent dot URI curly brace and then slash slug. And so what's happening here is that if there is a URI that is the parent to the current page, it's going to use that. And if there's not, Craft will just ignore it. The URI is not the slug, right? It's the actual URI that is in the URL. So uh, it will be a combination of all of the parent entries that are above it. So now I can save this, go back to the browser and go to about slash locations slash Austin, Texas. And there you go. Now you see it works. And if I just go down to locations, you can see now it shows locations. And if I go back down even farther, now it shows about. So now I have dynamically set craft to accept all sort of iterations of the URL drilling all the way down and all the way back up again. So that's a real powerful way of setting up sections so that the URL can support the nesting that you've defined inside of craft. Now I want you to do some work on your own. We've already created this structure section for about crafty coffee. However, we did not create any of the fields or the field layouts for this at all. So on your own, I want you to go ahead and use what you've learned in previous videos to do this by yourself. Let's take a look at the templates real quick. So if you go to the static templates and then go to slash about, that'll load up the index.html template for the about template. Now these about pages are all going to use this same basic structure here. There's going to be a title at the top. There's going to be some sort of tagline here, an introduction, and then the page copy. So create the fields and the layout and then assign it to the structure section and then populate a few entries. And then in the next video, we'll uh, visit, revisit that and see how you did. All right, I'll see you in the next video.